What is up everybody? This is Lyle with No Hippie Barbecue and I'm here with Mason, No Hippie Barbecue Jr. What's up? Hey everybody, how you doing? Anyway, he came up with the recipe a few days ago. It was a butter, herb, and garlic salmon recipe. I thought that was so good that we should rock it out just a little bit different than that. So he's going to be doing a butter, herb, garlic, mahi, mahi, and shrimp recipe. Now, we have a few ingredients left over from our last recipe, which I have in this container here which is basically some leftover asparagus and then we have some of the other vegetables which we're going to incorporate in this. Anyway, Mason, let's talk about these ingredients you're going to be rolling with. Well, what we got here is pretty basic. We got salt, pepper, the shrimp and mahi-mahi, of course, some lime, minced up garlic, rosemary and thyme, three different types of bell peppers, and our compound butter right here with a little bit of squash. All right, and he meant thyme instead of thyme. And one thing I need to teach him, you know, and it comes with just learning how to cook is when he went to the store, which I'm gonna give him credit for because he shopped on it by himself, was he got this mahi-mahi and he got these nice little steaks right here. But then I think the guy saw who he was and broke him off with this little piece right here. So. Listen, if you're going shopping for fish, tell me you want center cut fish, which, uh, you know, obviously he hasn't been cooking enough to uh, ask for that. Anyway, really, it's a very simple recipe. We're going to season up everything, get it in some foil packets. But before we get to that, we need to get cutting these vegetables. Right, Mason, so what's up with this thyme and rosemary you got here? So I already got these minced up so I can get started on the pepper. So let me just get this out of the way and let's get started on those. All right, works for me. Now, are we going to be dicing these, slicing these? What are we going to do with these? Yeah, we'll be dicing them in the long, in the long chunks for you this. We're going to be slicing them. Slicing them in the long chunks. All right, go ahead and get busy. Went to the store and bought this hippie compound butter that was already made up. I tasted it. Didn't look like it had enough herbs in it. So what are you going to do, Mason? So we're going to add some of this thyme in there, some of that rosemary, this minced up garlic, and some salt and pepper. Mix it all together and put it over some fish. All right, go ahead and work on it, bro. Okay. See, these young people don't know the value of a dollar. He's over here leaving all kinds of... I ain't trying to up garlic. I ain't trying to take all day doing it though. All right, well, you know what? I'd rather you save some dough, even if it's your money. And how'd you feel about that rig style eight inch chef knife? Ooh, I liked it. Nice and smooth, well balanced. I'd use it. I'd definitely use it again over my normal knife. <laughs> yeah, because he doesn't get to use my good knife, so mm -hmm. anyway. Now if you're know. interested in a good chef knife, link will be in the description. Now we're just going to mix this all up. It's going to be real nice over that mahi mahi, I'll tell you that. Alright, well, let's get our foil packs ready to go. Okay, see y'all a little bit. Right, so it looks like I'm going to be the sous chef in this. Little situation, so what are you gonna do, brother? Okay, what I'm gonna do is get one of these pieces of mahi mahi, put it on this foil. They can get a little bit of these vegetables over here. I won't, I won't forget that at all. Mm -mm. Get a little bit of them peppers over here, some of that squash on top. Oh, <laughs> who can forget the shrimp? And now we want to want to use top that garlic herb butter on top of that mahi mahi. Just a little bit on the shrimp. Add a little bit of salt and pepper, so a little more spice. Just a little more. Let's roll that. All right, that is good to go. You know what? Did you get that lime on there? Mm-hmm. Got it right here. 
Then we're gonna wrap this up real quick. And when you're done wrapping this up, what's gonna happen? At, like, what temperature are we gonna put it in the oven at? Oh, we're gonna put it in the oven at 400. Let that butter start to steam up in there and cook this stuff to perfection. How long is it gonna take though? About 13, 15 minutes, not too long. All right, well, it's gonna go in the oven. 13, 15 minutes at uh, what, 400? 400, all right. All right, we'll see you back when it's done. Let's crack one of these open. Ooh. That looks mm. nice. <clears throat> that is a tasty meal. You know mm -hmm. what? Let's go ahead and bring this back and do a little taste test on these. All right. <laughs> All right, everybody, it's a done deal. Let's get into this and see what it tastes like. All right. Mmm. First off, that mahi mahi, nice and tender, still juicy, real good. It's been a grip since I've had this fish right here, and I'm telling you, he made this with salmon the other day, and I prefer this. Mm hmm. Let's get into this shrimp right quick. Oh, yeah. Mmm. Nice and tender, that garlic herb butter, just great on it. So good. I'm gonna tell you, if you're looking for a nice easy recipe, even for somebody that might have an extremely large head, <laughs> this might be one for you to try out. And I'm telling you, this stuff is good right here. Mm -hmm. Try this with salmon and actually, he made it with salmon. I, I told him to go get some cod. And then we happened to see this uh, mahi mahi on sale, so I told him, you know what, let's go ahead and try that out. So don't feel like you need to be, you know, like uh, held down by you know this type of fish or whatever kind of fish. You know what? Use your imagination. Anyway, thanks for stopping by No Hippie Barbecue. I appreciate it. Comment, subscribe, and I'm out.